and welcome to my video on using a microscope. So there are going to be two of these videos. This is the first one and it's going to show you how to actually use the microscope. The second video will show you how to actually use the microscope with the koi. So how to scrape a koi and use the microscope then. The reason I've chose to do this video first is because I think it's quite important to actually know how to use the microscope and how to actually find the things on the fish before you actually start scraping a fish. Because there's nothing more frustrating, I've had it myself, where you're not sure that you're actually good enough to use the microscope but you've managed to scrape a fish and you can't find anything but you're not sure if there is anything there or there's something there and you just didn't know what you were looking at. So this part is going to show you how to find things in the pond. So there are always microscopic organisms in every pond and in this video we'll see quite a number of them and it's a really good way to sort of practice finding things on your koi. Obviously the things we're going to see in this video are not harmful to koi and will be in every koi pond. If they were found on a fish then they are probably harmful to the fish but in this case they're not going to be found on the fish. So let's have a look at the microscope that we're going to be using. So here is the microscope I'm going to be using. It's a Brunel SP22. Now this is my microscope. It's quite a good microscope. I really like using it. It has got four options for magnification. The first one is the four times, which when compared with a ten times um, eyepiece makes it 40 times magnification. And then the second one is ten times, which again compared with the ten times eyepiece makes it 100. And then the third one would make them uh, 400 times and then the fourth one which I never ever use is a thousand times in total and realistically I always use 40 times and a hundred times 40 times you use to have a look around the slide and if you see any movement then you skip to a hundred times and have a look at what it actually is that's moving uh, I will show you 400 times and you'll see why it's not really that commonly used and this one I will not show you because you need to use oil with it uh, to actually get that one to work properly and I've never managed to get it to work properly and it doesn't matter anyway you can see the things well enough on hundred times uh, anyway so I haven't actually got an eyepiece in it I'm using a, a camera so the microscope itself is a Brunel SP22 and the IP the eyepiece in this one is an iCam Plus made by Brunel Microscopes again and uh, this connects to my computer down here so you can actually see on the thing and obviously there's nothing in at the minute but if I turn that you can see that it changes the view on the screen so that's so that you can see it also this is actually a similar magnification to the 10 times eyepiece so it still works out at 40 times view I actually prefer to use the camera because it's a little bit easier on your eyes and easier to just sit and wait and see if you can find something uh, but it's just as good with the eyepiece really and it's not a problem using the eyepiece so let's have a start at getting some stuff so here's the drum filter and this is where I'm going to be getting the stuff from so this is the mucky side of the drum filter and somewhere in your pond will have a bit of, you'll have a bit of muck like this where you can get it out and uh, I'll show you some other places later where you can get muck from but all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little pipette that you get with the microscope just to suck up a small amount of water like so and just have a look at that let's just shake some bubbles out in it and uh, let's drop off a little bit because I don't need that much uh, right there that should be enough Right, let's put that onto a slide. So here we go, I've got the slide set up on the desk. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drop this water on. That's a bit of water. There we go, that should be good enough. There's a little bit of muck on it, I think we should be fine. And let's put the cover slide on, like so. And see what we can find. Put it in the microscope. 
a little bit difficult with one hand, but I can manage it, I think. There we go, look at that, like I've done it before. There we go. So as you can see already, we can already see a few things moving about there. So let's have a look around this slide and see what we can find. Right then, so here we go. We're on 40 times currently, so let's have a look round and see what we find. So I like to actually go to the edges of the slide first, because I find that the edges of the slide are the best places to find. Look at that, that's something. That was a quick mover. So let's move on to... Look at that. See if I can zoom in on him. He's a weird little thing, isn't he? It's just a dot again, but it's quite low. There. So it just really shows you what you can find in sort of any amount of water. And uh, you will find a lot of these dots. I always find these dots. Um, sometimes you get worms. I would expect to see a worm, to be honest. What was that one? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't focus on him. Following edge, it's I can't really get a focus on it. I think that's one of those acorn things, you see them occasionally. Yes, it is. Sometimes they're faster than others, sometimes you can see them stood still, and they're quite good to look at when they're stood still because they've got like little bristles on them. And that's good to see. But that one, that one's off like a shot, isn't it? It's going on to edge it slide. So let's continue around the edge it slide and see what else we can track. See if I can get a little bit better focus. That's focusing on the glass. There we go. Let's have a look. Ah, so he is that we actually ended up following him. He's still making his way around the little acorn thing, but we'll follow him until we find something else. Right, is that another acorn one stood still? That's what we want. That's 100 times on that. Let's see what we can see. Ah, there you go. So, this is the same thing as that thing that we're flying about like crazy. And uh, obviously, this one isn't moving for whatever reason. But you can see that it's got like little hairs on the front. Um, or on the left side, on the left side of the image of him, that's moving about. I must be sort of uh, collecting things that happen to walk past. I have no idea what they do actually. And also, there's quite a number of dots in that um, screen, so you can see them dots. I have no idea actually what any of these things are. It would be really interesting to know, but I don't really know where you could sort of find that out. Uh, if anyone actually knows that's watching this video, then feel free to comment uh, because they're actually quite interesting. Now, there's a few things like this, so you'll get little bits of muck like this, and you'll see that, and it's a good thing to focus on. So, if I focus down like that, uh, then I can see it, some of the things you see in the middle there. And then, but not the things at the top. So I'll focus the turn the focus the other way. And now the other things are coming in uh, to focus, and that's just how you sort of do it. You have to keep moving focus all the time. If you're looking for something like Costia, which is really tiny, you will actually want to uh, you want to do that. Keep moving your focus about, or you could just end up looking straight through them. Now there's actually something in the middle of that. Uh, stuff there that's really small that's a really good thing to find and in fact I'm just going to move to 400 times like I say I don't usually use 400 times and we might see why right now uh, if I can't find anything but oh there we go let me see it a little bit better if I just brighten it up like that see if that helps and uh, see if I can adjust my focus you can see the little dots a little bit better and moving about these things, that thing there that's moving about, it's actually really small and uh, probably comparable in size to something like a costia. Uh, so really the smallest thing that you would find on a fish. So that's uh, it's quite a good thing to be able to see quite easily. So let's move back to 100 times. Oops, 
a little bit too far. There we go, that's 100 times again. Right, I'll switch back to 40 times and get back to you if I find anything. So I think I've just come across a worm in this muck here. Uh, trying to hide from it, let me brighten it up. And he's hiding under the muck. You can sort of just make him out. Though he's riddling about like crazy, so in fact there's all three things there. So there's dots, acorns and a worm. Those are the three most common things. There's a big dot in it, that one. That is a big dot. As you see, dot's that big. And... Uh, yeah, so they're usually the three most common things that you'll find. Um, and they're really good to find. They're, good, they're a really good way to practice using your microscope and that sort of thing. And uh, that's literally a perfect shot right there. Just how much sort of things can live in your drain. And that, I've said it, I'll say it again, these things don't hurt your fish. These are literally what lives in your pond to break down all the uh, muck and stuff that's in your pond. Uh, it's their job to break it down. You can also find actual parasites on your koi that your koi can get. So you may find fluke, you may find trichodema and stuff like that on here. And uh, that might be a good cause to actually look into uh, microscoping your fish a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to use this opportunity to go into uh, 400 times again, just to have a uh, look at what's happening just there. So, now we're on 400 times. Ooh, a bit hard to control. Yes. Any little mistakes that you do on 400 times with controls really show up. Uh, there's a little dot rushing about. And that. There's also some controls under here that do your. Um, that, do, that control your light levels or control the f focus of your light. Um, I tend not to mess about with them. I have set them to something that I like and uh, don't really touch them to be honest. You might need to just sort of move them in and out just to sort of find how bold you like the things and then there's another one as well just here you can see where you turn that way um, these are just things that you've got to get used to using and, and that and really you only set them up once and leave it in my opinion so let's carry on and have another look around so there we go we're back to 40 times and following one of these acorns about so I hope that just shows you that you can find things in literally almost any water. Uh, there weren't a lot of muck in that pipette, but obviously there's a little bit on this thing, and there's a lot of life in that little bit of water. And uh, obviously it's quite easy with the drum filter as well, but I'll show you right now uh, another place to get muck from in my pond, which is the bottom drains. I'm going to clean out the bottom drain of my quarantine tank because I haven't done that in a while. So let's get on with that and we'll have a look at what's in there. So this is my quarantine tank and as you can see at the bottom there it actually collects a little bit of uh, muck just before it goes down the outlet. I've took off the grill that covers it and uh, that's quite a long time with the muck but uh, yeah it settles in there which is kind of inconvenient but it's a good place to look for uh, anything that might be in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck that out and put it into this tank and then I'll see what comes up under the microscope. So here we are with the stuff out of that pond. I've just let it settle in there. So what I'm going to do is go to the deepest bit and just suck up a little bit with this pipette. See what we catch. Ah, that's lovely that. Keep that in a bit there. Use that. Let's use that. There we go, that should do it. Now put the slide on. Slide cover. Like so. Tap down. Right, let's see what's on it. Let's have a quick look around it. And there's quite a number of the little dots that swim about. Yeah, so they're quite visible on here. 
Have a look around. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a new one. That is... Wow, that's freaky as hell, that. <laughs> oh, dear. I wonder what that is. So, that is... That's an interesting... I have no idea what that could be. It's, you see, it's like got a little tail or something. Moves pretty well, doesn't it? There's lots of little dots as well swimming about in that picture, if you look. Oh, wow, look at it. It looks like... It looks like a shrimp or something, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a shrimp. There's no way. Let's move it to 100 times. See if we don't lose him. <laughs> oh, wow. This is going to be difficult to keep tracking him. Stay still. <laughs> oh, look at that. Fantastic. Look at that. It's disgusting. It's like... It's got little legs. I think he's probably actually trapped in between the two pieces of glass a little bit. He's definitely picking them up. Oh, wow, there's two. Is that another one? Oh, wow, there's two. <laughs> Let's stick with this one. He's staying still. Oh wow, what are those? So this is actually, this would be quite something that would be quite easy to spot. Um, if you're not very good with microscope, I've never seen one of these before. though. So, you never know, it might be a new species to my quarantine tank. If I can find that other one, I'll move back to 40 times. And dim the light a bit. So there's another one. Now look, oh, that's a bit bigger, is it? Oh, wow. Oh, doing this can easily be nightmares or something, can it? <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, did it? No, it didn't just catch that dot, did it? Did it just catch that dot? Oh, I can't wait to watch that again. I'm sure it just caught that dot. By dot, I mean those little things swimming about. I just call them dots. <laughs> kind of does look like a shrimp. They have like little legs underneath them that move like that, don't they? It's stuck. Oh, well, freaky or something like that. It's got two little eyes, look. This, I think, they're eyes, I mean. So it just shows you that you might find something <laughs> interesting looking under the microscope. So let's have a look around and see if I can find out what else. So there we go. I've had a good look around all this slide and just them and them little dots are on it so yeah hope you enjoyed this one so there we go thank you for watching my video if you like this video then please like it if you want to watch the next video which is going to be on scraping the koi themselves then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching